Don't do this when you enter bills in QuickBooks Desktop. Hey there, my name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. First of all, if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, second, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Grab the free masterclass, which is going to guide you through the main reasons why typical QuickBooks training just doesn't work. The link is down in the description to the video. It's also in the first comment. So click the link, try it out. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so don't do this when you enter bills in QuickBooks Desktop. I see this mistake. This is one of the big mistakes that I see people make all the time when they go to enter bills in QuickBooks. Now, if you're not entering bills in QuickBooks, you need to. Uh, because it's a very, very easy way to track what's due, when it's due, what kind of credit you have with vendors, etc. So make sure that you watch my videos on entering bills. Okay, so let's go to enter bills. Now you can see here you've got this option, enter bills, and you can also go to vendors, enter bills. It takes you to the exact same place within QuickBooks. We pull up the bill screen here, and this is called a form. That, uh, that's the terminology that QuickBooks uses. A lot of different things look like this. You know, an invoice, a check, a bill, etc. It's supposed to make it very, very simple for you to enter the information. First of all, what you want to do, you want to uh, choose your vendor. So we're going we're gonna to pick one here, East Bayshore Auto Mall. So this is, you get a bill, you might get it emailed, you might get it in the mail, whatever the case may be, but you need to enter this bill so that you put in, you know, how much is due, when it's due, et cetera. Now here's what people typically do. They're gonna go through and they're gonna say, okay, the date is 12-15-2023. The bill due date is 12-30, because it's a net 15 term. Okay, so it's gonna be due 15 mm -hmm. days after the bill is uh, entered right here. Then you're going to put in the reference number. Okay, so this is a bill number and you wanna make sure that you enter the bill number. The reason is, is because if you enter uh, the same bill again, let's say you get a duplicate bill, you enter it again. If you're consistent in entering the invoice number or the bill number, QuickBooks will warn you that there is a duplicate bill so that you don't pay it twice. So be sure that you do that. All right, then down here, you're going to put in the interest, or in this case, it's a it's a loan payment, so you've got interest expense. You're going to put in the expense account, essentially, down here for whatever this bill is for. Now, here is the big mistake that people make. When you enter a bill in QuickBooks, it defaults to today's date. So whatever date that you are entering this bill in QuickBooks, it will default to this date. But here's what you need to stop doing. Stop letting it default to that date. You want to put in the date of the bill or the date of the invoice. Now, this is important so that you're capturing expenses in the right time period. Most bills you get are going to be at the end of the month or near the end of the month. You may not get them till after the first of the month. So let's say that this bill was for something that happened in November in this example, since this is December. In November, well, if you just put in 12-15-2023 because that's the date you got the bill, that expense is going in the wrong time period because it relates to things that happened in November. So stop letting it default to the date you enter the bill and put in the bill date. So we say in this case, 11-30-23, and it says bill due 12-15-2023. That's automatically calculated because of the terms, but you can change this date. So stop letting it default to today's date and make sure you put the expense in the correct time period. Sometimes it gets a little bit tricky. So the bill date may be, let's say, December 1st, 2023, but it relates to utilities, let's say, uh, power bill, water bill, whatever, for November, for usage in November. Well, that is a November expense. So in that case, what we typically do is we'll put in November. So even though the bill says this bill is December 1st, 2023, due date December 15th, 2023, we'll back it up a day and put it to November 30th. That way it's capturing the expense in November, which is when the utilities were used, okay? 
simple, simple little things that help get your financial statements accurate. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, again, check out that masterclass at the QuickBooks University website. The link is down in the description, and I look forward to talking to you soon.